Hey guys, what's going on? Brent P here. I'm going to be bringing you a small, quick tutorial on how to make some dust for your videos. It's going to get dusty up in here. Alright. What you need to do, first of all, is have Adobe After Effects. Once you have that, either the trial version, uh, buy, buy it, or whatever other means you can find on our internet to obtain this program it is extensively fun to learn and it is extensively i wouldn't say difficult but um you need to have some time to put to actually learning all of the effects to really get a customized feel out of this um i'm gonna apologize right now if you guys hear my son in the background he's uh he's awake and destroying my dvd collection it looks like um so, what are we going for with dust particles, you say, or you may ask? This is what I mean. You've seen this in video games, um, commercials, all kinds of shit. Here it is. It is a, par a dusty, like a dust particle effect. Um, I can't remember if it was one of the Call of Duties or Battlefield or some shit uses it uh, in one of their cutscenes in a snowy area so I mean it could be used I mean I'm, I'm sure everyone's seen this all over the place and that's the thing about Adobe After Effects with uh, the vanilla software is good but once you start getting diving into the different plugins is when you really start to see what this program is capable of and you will start to notice these plugins used in things you see on TV every day. Um, if you watch the new Total Recall, it annoyed the hell out of me because uh, I had just learned how to use uh, optical flares uh, properly. Well, not properly. I'm still actually learning the program, but I just I learned how to put it into little videos and stuff. And Total Recall absolutely overuses the hell out of optical flares, in my opinion. And you can see that throughout the course of the movie. Um, well that's just an example of where you can see these, uh, where you can see After Effects being used. Sorry, if um, if I stop talking at any point during this, I apologize. I'm probably uh, talking to my son. Anyways, so you may ask, how the hell did you get this? All right. Well, first off, you need to have Adobe After Effects. Secondly, you need to get trap code particular uh from red giant i will post i will link a uh, a link in the description of the video where you can get a free trial buy it if uh, that's what you're into or you know what the name is so you can obtain it uh whichever way you see fit through the internet um so here we go we have adobe after effects we have our trap code particular plugin so next, what we want to do, we want to get a solid. This is what you will apply your particular uh, effect to. So we'll just name it uh, particular one. All right. Uh, we want to make comp size, and that makes it the size of the composition. Uh, once again, background color doesn't really matter. All right, now you have a layer, a solid. What we want to do is add an effect to that. So you go to effect, come down here to trap code particular, put in, uh, apply the uh, effect to the layer, and then you see particulars interface up here. Options come open. Now, particular has a, a, a bunch of uh, sections within sections you know there's just just stuff everywhere but for the purposes of this what we want to do let me show you what it looks like that's just uh you have your particular your particle uh birth point as i call it and then it moves out from there so to make this just a quick tutorial um, I'm not going to dive too deep into uh, particular. Um, you guys, if 
you're interested, uh, what I did to figure this out was YouTube and just trial and error myself playing with different options and everything. All right. So first off, particular uh, puts this kind of in order of how you need to mess with it. So emitter is what would births your your particle. It 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 would it's it creates. It's where the particles are created. So for dust, let's go. Uh, we'll go with like five hundred particles per second. The emitter type is on point, and once again, I'm not gonna get too into this, but there's different uh different options. Um, before we keep going, I forgot we wanna. Add a camera layer. Just default settings. Um, that way we have a uh, we we can see this in three. Um, another thing to note: do not put your particular effect layer in three D because all that does is actually make it two D. So we don't want to do that. Just leave it leave it the way it is. All right. Anyways, back to what we were doing. Alright, so we're on point for emitter type. The position is, of course, the partic uh, particulars, uh, the particles position. And you have your different options here. Uh, Bidirectional, you know, I'm not going to get into all that. Like I said, you can mess around with it. Alright, for emitter type, though, let's go box. And we want to make this uh, on, let's say 17 alright if you scroll out you can actually see the box I created well actually this is more of a uh, rectangular shit but it, I mean it's a box alright now, if you look here, you got just particles flying everywhere. That's not what we want. That looks too uh, too messy. So, you go right here to your emitter's velocity. That is how fast your particles are moving. Um, for dust, dust, you know, just eases on by. So, let's go with a velocity of 10. And... Let me see. Yep, that's going to be it for the emitter for now. Um, next, let's go on to our particle. This is uh, your <coughs> excuse me. This is your particles' characteristics: uh, their life, lifespan, opacity, uh, color, color random. You know, all the you can see all these options right here. Okay, so for dust, let's uh, randomize their life to about twenty-five or so. Uh, we're not going to mess with particle type, but I'll just show you. You know, you can get different particle types. Um, size, we're going to drop it down to 2. We're going to randomize the size. Opacity, um, leave it on 100. Uh, opacity random, we'll put that to about 75. Um, Now you have here size over life. This is from the birth to the death of the particular particle. Uh, for the purpose of this tutorial, we're going to leave that alone. Uh, opacity over life, we're going to preset to this, uh, the fourth preset, which is a slow birth and sustained life death. Um, color, you don't have to set your color, but... I like to randomize it just a little bit. Uh, that's going to be all for the particle. So now you see we have this. What I like to do is uh, I like to scroll around uh, to see where like what particles I have coming in view, and then from there I like to uh, just move my camera around. Let's see what I have going on. All right. I'm actually going to dive in here a little bit. That's fine. 
This looks like a really good spot. Yeah, I think I'm going to stay right here. Let me zoom in a little. There we go. All right. Next, we want to go to our camera down here on our composition. And uh, let's play around with the camera options. Now, that this is the thing about adding effects to a to a scene, a an, an entire composition, an entire video clip, whatever you want to add effects to. You can take this tutorial and tweak whatever you feel you need to. Um, but for the purposes of what I'm doing right here, we're going to turn you you want to turn depth of field to on. All right. Aperture. Um, I'm gonna go with a hundred for now. I'm probably gonna tweak that. Um, let me just close your eyes. I'm gonna sneak over here and see what I have. I've got it 75 over there. So let's put 75. On. Actually, no. You know what? Let's stay at a hundred. Um, blur level. Uh, I had it too much before. Let's start out on 500%. Let's see what we have. Let's go 800. And there you have it, pretty much. Um, like I said, from here you can tweak different things you want. Uh, just play around with the options, see what it has to offer. It's a great program, great plugin. But uh, that's pretty much that's pretty much how you make a dust particle effect. And we'll let it play. And there you have it. And like I said, from here you can tweak different things to uh, suit you whatever you need the uh, effect for. And I hope you guys enjoy. Subscribe. I'm going to be making a few more of these. Um, if everybody, if anybody wants to, I'm going to actually make a, uh, a basic tutorial how-to on After Effects if uh, anybody wants it. If not, um, there's way more than enough videos already on YouTube over on the uh, subject. But, um, so there you have it. There's your dust particles. I hope you enjoy and I hope you can use it. Um, like I said, this is just the basic. So if you need specific things going on, you can uh, always, like I said, you can tweak around with the settings. Um, that's pretty much how I've learned how to do things is uh, YouTube and play and just playing around with settings on my own. But, um, so I hope you guys enjoy this. Uh, subscribe, like this. Get some video views, and uh, I'll see you guys next time.